Computers are great, aren't they? I mean, in the past half century, computers really have transformed the way we live our lives, helping us get to the moon, allowing us to talk with each other wherever we are in the world, and of course, keeping us entertained. Oh, and bringing you things like this, which would have been impossible in a pre-computer world without an entire production studio filled with lots of camera equipment, specialist lenses, and really super skilled editors. And as computers get more powerful and more smart, we're starting to see them getting the kind of super difficult tasks that we've had to do manually thus far. Tasks like driving our cars, for example. But while machine learning and the wonders of the cloud and big data means that we're now seeing autonomous car technology from pretty much every major automaker out there, it turns out that autonomous cars are far easier to confuse than you might think. That's because level five, fully autonomous driving, not only requires the car to be able to deal with every predictable eventuality on the road without human interaction, but it also has to deal with situations that aren't expected. Situations where a human might have nothing more than a moment's thought before being able to carry on their way. And as some security researchers have been demonstrating lately, fooling a modern self-driving car can be as easy as painting on the ground or vandalizing street signs. For example, researchers at the University of Washington, the University of Michigan, Stony Brook University, and UC Berkeley figured out that it's possible to cause an autonomous car to misread a standard stop sign as a 45 mile per hour speed limit sign instead, something which would of course have terrible consequences if it were to happen in the real world. In this case, researchers used stickers produced on a home printer to essentially hack the car into believing the sign said something other than what it actually did. But anything that affects the sign, be it graffiti, gunshot holes, or just fading from direct sunlight, can cause a problem. Uh, the same is true for road markings, as we've seen several times with Tesla's semi-autonomous autopilot system. As soon as the road markings become unclear, due to either roadworks, wear and tear, or something like an oil spill, autonomous cars become unsure of what to do. In short, it's easy at the moment to fool both a fully autonomous car and a semi-autonomous car. And while the things I've listed above are no match for a level three autonomous car with an alert driver behind the wheel ready to take over if the car gets confused, they can still stop certain prototype level five cars in their tracks. Luckily though, these things are being overcome. So just as I've shared some of the things that can go wrong, it's time for me now to share what's being done to solve it. One solution is to use extensive real-world mapping data to help cars know where stop signs and other road markings should be in the cases where the ones in the real world get damaged, defaced, or stolen. Another solution is to improve machine learning to let cars better analyze signs to detect specific colors and shapes, so that even if there's a misshapen, damaged, or vandalized sign, the car can still read it. Combined with the first solution, this can not only ensure the car knows what signs are coming, but can also confirm that the sign is where it expects it to be. Of course, the whole confusing a stop sign with a speed limit sign could be prevented by teaching the car some more sophisticated decision-making. For example, a stop sign would likely be at an intersection where two or more roads meet. A speed limit sign would less likely be. Luckily for us, this kind of programming is not impossible, but it only works if combined with the car's AI. Essentially, the problem comes down to this. Teaching a car to drive on the majority of roads in the majority of the situations is easy, and self-driving cars don't have the same problems of distraction that we humans have, the type of problems that cause a lot of accidents that we suffer from. But while autonomous cars are good at spotting hazards and reacting quickly, they're less capable of tackling situations where rules have to be broken, such as crossing a solid line to get around a broken down vehicle, and they're less good at the fuzzy logic risk-taking that we all have to do once in a while when we're behind the wheel. Which is why Nissan and several other companies, perhaps also including Waymo and automotive startup Zooks, are looking into the idea of using remote assistance to help autonomous cars out of sticky situations. Yes, it might not be full level five autonomy, but having a remote team of operators who can help a car deal with a problem that's got its circuits in a muddle does help autonomous driving to market quicker. And it also helps prevent those confused by tape problems that security researchers warn could cause havoc with unprepared autonomous vehicles. But while it's clever, the ultimate goal, teaching our cars to do all the driving themselves without any outside input in every conceivable situation, is a lot harder than you might think. And so it means that for now, you're going to need to keep your eyes on your self-driving car, even if it's doing all the heavy lifting. Or you may find yourself in a muddle 
thwarted by tape or worse. That's it. As always, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Hit the notification bar and click the Patreon link at the end of this video if you want to help me make more of these videos. Until next time, thanks for joining me and keep evolving.